right. Uh, tutorial 1.6 is on error estimation and adaptive refinement. Okay. So um, adaptive loops take the following form. You have solve, estimate, mark, refine, solve. Okay. Uh, We'll, uh, the plan of this tutorial is to see each of these individual components and then put them in a loop, in a loop and then let it run and see what happens. Okay. All right. So solve, uh, we've seen, we've seen wha how solve works. You, on, a, on a fixed mesh, you can solve a problem by forming the bilinear form and the, and the linear form and, and so forth. Estimate is a part we haven't seen. Estimate is a part where, which requires an error estimator to be computed. And we're going to use this in KB2 estimator. Okay. Okay. Uh, here is a geometry uh, that is in uh, that has been in NGSol for a long time. Uh, for all, all the long-time users know this domain, and I believe this uh, Joachim once told me that it's a, it's a Russian chip. Or uh, <laughs> ah, okay. So okay, so it's some uh, some 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 chip. Okay, so uh, we have uh, we make the geometry using the spline geometry uh, module, which requires you to specify all the lines, all, all the points first, and then all the lines connecting these points. So this uh, I it's elementary, but it's just a little tedious to look at. Y here you you make a list of all the points. You have uh, this point zero zero one zero and so forth. And then you create all the lines. And once you have appended the points and the lines, you have a geometry object. And then you can set materials or subdomains. You give them names. So there is a base, a chip, and a top. So I guess, uh, OK, well, let, let me just execute this and bring up the geometry here. OK, so that looks like the picture that we have. All right, uh, the problem we want to solve is, is, is again, the, Laplac the Laplacian. We create the Lagrange finite domain space using the same command that we've been seeing. Uh, this time, we have a coefficient function defined piecewise in the three material regions. You have the lambda times grad u grad v, and a coefficient and a load function representing heat generation in, on one part of the, on one of the subdomains. And we're going to solve this using a multigroup preconditioner uh, where the course inverse is done by a sparse Cholesky factorization that is built into NGSolve. Okay, so here is one step of the solve. You, you update the finite domain step, a uh, finite domain space, you update the grid function, and then assemble and call the inverse. This is a conjugate gradient solver from the solvers module in NGSolve. It, it needs a matrix and a preconditioner. We've set both the matrix and the preconditioner here uh, previously, and we give it as input. And when we call this function, you see the first solution. Th you, this can be thought of as a solution at the very first step of the adaptive refinement process. Now we need to estimate the errors. For estimating the errors, here is uh, the technique is, is, is as follows. You take the computer solution, you take the gradient, compute the gradient of the, uh, the computer solution, uh, and then interpolate it into a step. Let's look at those, com uh, those steps here. Here is a gradient of the computer solution. That's flux. And the flux is being set in a space called h div. Okay, Joachim will introduce this space in one of the uh, later tutorials, and you will know more about this at, at that point. Uh, and then the Zinkiewicz estimator is, is, is exactly this, with this interpolated flux and the original flux, look at the difference between them, and wherever this difference is large, you expect a large error. So this is, a, this is the computation of the error. Okay. Now you see the error representation function plotted. Is, so these are areas of potential large errors or elements that might benefit from refinement. Okay. 
we integrate this element by element. This is an element-wise integration. So instead of integrating over the whole domain, you integrate it element by element, and, and the output is a list, one, cor one entry per element. You can see the errors for each element represented in this vector. So from this, you, you can compare which element has larger error and lower error. So we proceed further, and we mark the elements. The elements with the largest error are marked for refinement. So here you see that if any element which has, has more than 25% of the maximal error value, that m element gets a, set a refinement flag. Oh, that gets a refinement flag. So that element must be refined. And then, uh, since, since, uh, and then Netgen refines that element and refines the adjoining elements in order to get a conforming mesh. Okay. All right, so there was some refinement here. Uh, I didn't keep track of where the refinement, but you'll see more refinements in a second. Okay, well, we can now refine and solve again. And here is how we automate these, these steps. We can keep doing this process. Okay. This is a function for computing the error estimate at each point. You calc calculate the error, and then you mark the elements for refinement, and you see that some elements are getting marked. And here is the adaptive loop. It has three steps. Solve, estimate the error, and refine. Okay. Now, as you can see, The mesh is continually getting refined, and at some point, when you have enough degrees of freedom, we stop. Clearly, it has chosen to refine near the corners. These are material interfaces, and there are corners, uh, non-convex corners here and here, which are presumably sources of error. It has found that these locations by itself uh, and refined to your satisfaction. You can look at a plot of the history of adaptive convergence in matplotlib. Uh, you see, the, here's a plot of the H1 error and the number of degrees of freedom. As the number of degrees of freedom increases, your H1 error is going down. 